can see here these are the amount of ethereum that i have mined for the past five days so as you can see here i've mined about 0.03291 ethereum so yeah so the current gas prices now is about 116 you see here so now we're going to request a manual payout and see how much we need to pay for the gas price for this one transaction from Ethermine pool to our metamask wallet so let's try request manual payout as you can see here the network fee is about 8.39 8 gray uh, equal to 0 0.01856 uh, yeah this is my approximate approximate ethereum that i will get in my metamask wallet so let's connect to our metamask wallet <coughs> we sign in and yeah and this we click here payout request submitted successfully so so now we just have to wait so as you can see here we receive about 0 0.031057 ethereum after the gas prices yeah this is the amount that we get after the gas prices and now we need to proceed to send this ethereum to my luno account so basically i just need to click send and i need to find my luno this is my luno account but if you don't have the luno <coughs> addresses you can get here just click ethereum and this is the address for my uh, luno exchange wallet for ethereum just click copy so let's try send public address luno gas price estimation failed there is yeah, something wrong there so as you can see here it is very expensive if i send the ethereum directly to luno you can see here i lost about yeah zero zero point zero five uh, ethereum it is quite expensive if I do this method so instead I will transfer it to my coinbase first and after coinbase I will transfer it to my luno account I think there is much cheaper way to transfer from metamask wallet to luno so here is my coinbase dashboard my portfolio balance is about three ringgit so yeah let's click receive uh, we need to find for the ethereum wallet this one this address we just need to copy it then we go here click send around here and we need to paste this address here new address book detected so we just click max so this is the amount that we can send the max maximum amount that we can send from metamask to coinbase so it's changing uh, depending on our network gas fee so let's here let's see here so let's just click next uh, yeah send it we click confirm and we see if it's fail we will lose some ethereum due to the transaction fee so this is uh, the dark side of 
sending ethereum to another exchange or wallet <coughs> where if it is fail we we lost the transaction fee so yeah be careful when you sending your ethereum to other wallet so as we can see here it is sending just look at the total gas fee it's quite expensive four dollars seventeen four dollars seventy nine US to US dollar which is quite expensive actually but yeah it's still cheaper than sending from metamask wallet to directly to luno itself so as you can see here we receive ethereum 0.030525 or something like that so this is the amount of ethereum we receive from metamask wallet so as you can see here the transaction is still in pending status we need to wait a bit until it is confirmed so let's take a break so as you can see here the the transaction has successfully uh, confirmed and now we get about 0 0.0302 ethereum in my coinbase wallet so next we need to send this to my luna wallet and see how much fee i will be i will need to pay so let's click our wallet here click eth and click receive click ethereum here and this is the addresses for the ethereum address for my luno ethereum wallet so copy and click send here send here it will detect it as ethereum address the note here is optional messages if you just let it be like this also can so how we click send all and we'll see how much gas fee will we need to pay for this particular transaction let's click continue so the network fee is about 0 0.001 at 06 so yeah let's click send now so we, we need to confirm our send on the google authenticator give me a moment click confirm okay now we just need to wait so as you can see here we already received the ethereum from the coinbase you can see here we only get 0 0.02845 ethereum left after three gas transaction fees that we have been charges so now we only get this value after the gas prices of all the transaction so now i just need to sell this on the thread one is it change So let's go to our Ethereum. Let's change our graph. Uh, let's choose Ethereum AYR. And now we need to sell the Ethereum. Just click market prices. Click max. There we will be charges about 0.5% 5, 5 for the trading charges so we are expecting to get about 414.67 ringgit malaysia so let's sell our eth yes place order
an insufficient fan what the hell he got it so it's not working i'm not sure why is it because we have uh something is wrong ah uh, never mind but you get the idea after receive this ethereum i usually will sell it on this trading market so that's how i i sell my ethereum and transfer to my bank and cash it out as my uh, weekly income yeah so you get the idea